How is it going everybody? You're watching Then About Tech and today I'm finally gonna teach you how you can do this. How you can install iOS 26 today completely free, the official Apple method. So without further ado, let's get started. Okay guys, so the method is actually very, very simple because all you have to do is open up your settings, go to general and then software update. And then of course, let it load and then tap on beta updates if you have this option. If you don't, of course, I'm gonna show you in this video as well. So tap on beta updates and then you see it right here iOS 26 developer beta. Maybe if you have iOS 18 developer beta selected, you actually need to go and cycle to off and then cycle back and then iOS 26 developer beta will automatically show up. As you can see right here, it's already available. But of course, as I mentioned, not everyone will actually see this menu right here, beta updates. And that's because this will only show up if you have enrolled your Apple ID to the developer beta program from Apple, which as I said, is completely free. You don't need to pay for anything. So let me go ahead and show you how you can enroll if you don't see this option. Let's go. Okay, so all you have to do really is open up your Safari and then tap here on the address bar and go to developer.apple.com as you can see here and here. And of course, I'm also gonna have a direct link in the description. So tap on it and then you're gonna see this page and then you're gonna tap on the top left corner where you see the menu here and then tap on account. And then of course, you're gonna log in to your Apple account, your Apple ID. Make sure to log in to the same Apple account you have logged in on your phone. So with your iCloud stuff, the same Apple account, okay? So let's go ahead here and tap and go for your email or your number. If you can, you can already go ahead and use Face ID for that and then go ahead and continue as you can see and let it load. It's gonna be super fast. Also, make sure to type in your two-factor authentication and also make sure to have it enabled. Two-factor authentication is necessary, mandatory to enroll to the Apple developer program, okay? So let's go ahead and trust, as you can see, and then we're already there. We're already at the Apple developer agreement. So all you have to do really is scroll down and then select if you wanna receive communication and all that, I'm gonna tap on no and then agree, as you can see. Now it's loading once again. And as you can see, you can customize your experience with Apple developer. Of course, you don't need to do that. You can say, I'm not interested really. And then you're good to go. You are already there. You don't need to do anything else. You can already exit here. And then this is very important, restart your iPhone. So press the side button, right? And the volume up or down, press in both and then slide to power off. And of course, just a couple seconds, you'll be able to press again and restart your iPhone. Just let it like five, 10 seconds pass, and then we're pretty much good already. So you can go ahead and press again, just on the side button, press and hold. As you can see, you're gonna see the Apple logo, and then you can let go, and then let's wait for it to reboot. Then of course, go ahead and swipe up, and then type in your passcode, and then, Go ahead here, open up your settings, scroll down, go to general, and then software update, and then you will see it right here, beta updates. If you still don't, tap on it once again, and just make sure you have the same Apple account selected here as you have enrolled on the developer program. This is very, very important. Sometimes we have multiple Apple accounts, but you have to make sure you're using the same one you use to enroll right here, okay? As you can see, I'm using the very same. You can come back and check. So I have the same here, and then I have the iOS 26 developer beta. I can come back and then I have it right there, and all I have to do now really is tap on update now and have some fun. Oh, and before we move on, I know I've told you this many, many, many times, but just to make it very, very clear, you have to back up your iPhone before you update to a beta version, especially the beta one of a major software update like iOS 26. So make sure to take a look at this card, link in the description, where I teach you step-by-step how to actually back up your iPhone completely. So if something goes south, 
you'll be able to come back not losing any of your data. This is very important, okay? So that's literally it. Thanks for watching. Of course, a ton more videos and tutorials to come, including how to downgrade from iOS 26 to 18 if you have updated and regretted and many, many other videos. So make sure to subscribe to the channel and stay tuned. This is an amazing week and I hope to see you in many, many videos. Thanks a lot and I'll see you on the next one. Bye bye guys.